You gonna start her? Gonna start it, put the choke on, put it on off. safety glasses. This is the first part before you start caning. This is going to get off all the cobwebs, all the dirt, grime, dust, you know, anything on there so that when he paints, he'll have a good product. He feels way more comfortable doing this. And I see a lot of dirt up there. You see it catches up there. Yeah, it's really dirty. I better move back a little bit, get the camera wet. I could see if you try to paint over that, your paint's just not going to stick properly. You might get your job done, but it's not going to last very long, is it? Wow. I'm getting wet a little bit, but so be it. It's just water. It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, see, everything is going to be nice and clean. And he's got the fan spray tip on there, you see? And even though he's got the fan spray tip on there, you can kind of regulate how close you get that to the wood, to the metal, and that. Because you can still do damage if you get it too close. And then there's sometimes when you can decide if you want to get it closer. You know what I mean? If you start off with the wrong tip, well, you could you could damage, especially the T111 siding. That's T111 siding is what's on the walls. That's four by eight panels of wood, and it's got the the uh, the lines in it, the grooves in it. So, and that one just is called T111 siding. Okay, most most older places have that. But if you use a, a really sharp tip, pointy tip, and you get too close to that wood, you could start flaking off the wood and doing a lot of damage. So it depends how close you hold that tip to it. And that's why he's using the fanning tip. You know, once he gets on this siding, it's not gonna do much damage to it. Tell the tip fans like that got a project that needs a different tip then you then or a different fan there use a different tip and some might have an adjustable nozzle see there wow that is pretty dirty looks way cleaner just by him using that like it's almost like hey maybe you don't have to paint at all but yes you do have to paint after this See all that grime coming off of there? I can see how the paint's really going to bond better. It's going to last better. And he's going to feel comfortable knowing that he's done a really good job. Now see he's changing tips. He's putting on a sharper tip, maybe for the bottom here. So you just changed tips there. Yeah, yeah, I want to blow out the dirt in the corner of the metal building. There's a lot of dirt. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, it's really quick for him to change the tip. Right there, handy. See how that, see how the tip kind of blows straight out. It still fans, because that's the next tip. Then you got another one that's even a tighter 
corner than that. Got a lot of dirt up there they've taken off. Alright. Just depends how close you hold that. You want to start out holding it further away and then go in. If you think you're going to do a roof, like a composition roof, uh, your shingles or something like that, be very extra careful on that. That could do a lot of damage. You know, if you got moss up on your roofs or something like that, um, it sometimes it just depends how old your roofing material is. You got to be careful with something like that. See all that dirt that's coming off of there? Who would want to paint over something like that? You know? Never would have known that had you not used a power washer. Because before he started, it looked it didn't look that bad to me. But see with that with that power washer, see how far his ladder is away from the building. You don't want to get it up too close. And as he said, you just it's got a little kickback on it because there's a lot of water on there. That's why he's got a sturdy ladder. You know? Don't get one of those cheap little aluminum ladders because you think you're saving money. You know, eventually those can bend and they're not as stable and they rock all around. This is one sturdy fiberglass ladder, yes indeed. The thing you gotta watch with starting to run one of these, you're gonna find other things need to be done too. See this whole sidewalk area? This whole thing's really dirty. If you had a power washer, you could make this so clean. If you ever did something like that, you gotta be careful because you, you use a really tight tip. You can see how well it would do, but if you don't do it nice and even and spend your time on it, then you see all these lines, like the areas that were clean, the areas that were not clean. So you just gotta kinda play around with it. Man, even if your paint on your house was oh three or four years old, maybe five years old, you could do something like this and just power wash it and just get the dirt and grime off it. Not that you're getting ready to paint, but just to clean it up. You do something like that, like I said, you you gotta be careful knowing how how far to hold it and all that. Because you don't want to start peeling your paint off. Because this thing is powerful if you've got the wrong tip on. That's all I have for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.